second recipe. So this recipe is the one on the Voyager website. And this right here is the coca mitopropyl betaine surfactant. It's a liquid surfactant. Uh, glycerin and strawberry kiwi fragrance oil from Nature's Garden. And this recipe has the powdered surfactant, baking soda, and cream of tartar as well. It doesn't have any um, it doesn't have any cornstarch or tapioca starch or arrowroot powder in it. So that's the only thing I don't like about this recipe. Um, because I don't know how long the scent will last in it. <clears throat> so if it gets too sticky on me, I'm definitely going to be adding tapioca powder. So here's my, my baking soda. I'm just going to put that through. don't know how many bars this recipe makes. Soap cream recipe is supposed to make 12 bars. This is my cream of tartar. So I'm glad it has cream of tartar in it. That way I know it's not going to be hard. The bars aren't going to be hard. Too hard to crumble. Or so I've read, anyway, that that's what they're for. And here's my powdered surfactant. Again, I'm wearing a mask, so my voice might sound muffled. mixed up really well. So I'm just going to add my liquid stuff now. These liquids aren't as thick as the liquids from the last recipe, so I don't know. It's going to work as well. Okay, already, it's time to move on to gloves. This actually feels like a different texture and it is super duper wet. Sorry about that. Yeah, super duper wet. <laughs> okay, so. Spoons worth of tapioca powder. And hope that helps. It doesn't feel as dense as the last recipe. It's really feels more like fluff than dough.
was working just fine, and then as you work in the food coloring, it gets stickier and stickier and stickier. soda on my hand so I can press this down because I don't want to use the roller again because it'll get stuck to it. So I'm just using the baking soda and I'm just going to press it down with my hands. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. I got it onto the paper. Um, every time I try to roll it, it sticks to the paper, even though I'm I'm putting like baking soda on it <laughs> on the outside to try to get it to not stick on the outside and to stick on the inside. But I don't know. This recipe, I'm definitely not trying it again. <laughs> well, we'll see how it bubbles and then see if it's worth it. You know, it might be worth it, or it might be worth it to try the other recipe that has liquid surfactants in it too. But that one doesn't have any cornstarch or tapioca starch either, so we'll see. This one here has been sitting aside for an hour and it's still a mess. An absolute mess. What am I going to do? If I stick these in a mold, do you think they'll come out? Or maybe I should just cut pieces off and put them in like circles. Make them like little cookie shapes. Maybe that's what I'll do. right? Big mess. If I just flatten them out maybe. Make 
them into round shapes, little cookies. stuff them in the mold. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stuff them in the mold and I'm going to leave them in there for like five days. A whole week. And then try to get them out. Hopefully it works though because these are pretty smelly. Like they smell really nice is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Stuff them in my flower mold. trying to get them out. <laughs> Should be fun. <laughs> wow, that only really fills up like four of them. That recipe. Which is fine. I mean, There we go. So I'm going to let them sit in there for a whole week. 